Hey everyone, welcome back. Before we start, if you haven't done so, please check out the previous videos to understand the existing code base because we are working on the same code just in a different feature branch. All right. As for this demo, we will see how can we use Java enums, how can we use Java enums in entities, in JPA entities, and how do we translate them to the database columns. So for this demo, we have the same user table and this user table has a new column which is user type. This user type can have a set of possible values which are owner, admin and guest. And we know whenever there is a data type which has a predefined set of values, a limited set of values, we often use enums. But the thing is enums are Java specific, enums are related to Java. There is no enum in MySQL for example. So if we use enums in a JPA entity, how can we safely translate those values to the corresponding column in the table that's what we are going to see in this video so let's move on and start with the coding and we'll create a new feature we will name it enums so we'll go to the user entity and here we have the required attributes for the existing columns and for the user type we will add a new property which is user type now what is this user type as we said we are going to define an enum to hold the possible values for the user type so this is going to be an enum let's create this missing enum now and this enum would have values like owner admin and guest okay now it's not complaining anymore because we have added the enum and if we go to the main class here we have written the code to insert a new user record in the database so for this demo we can actually remove all this because we don't need to update the record anymore this is for the last demo so we can simply remove everything and before we do that let me simply comment it out and we can also remove the audit repository we don't need audit repository for this demo so let's see what happens when we directly use the enums so what i can do i can simply print the user type value let's say admin Let's see what it does. Let's run the program. And as expected, we see the value admin in the logs. It's no big deal. We know we are printing admin from the enum. So we will see admin on the console. But the thing is, each enum value has an ordinal value as well, which is the index of that value in the corresponding enum. What that means is if we go to the enum, we have three values, owner, admin and guest. So we are not only defining the value, but implicitly we are also defining their index, same as an array. So this value has an index and similarly admin will have its own index in a sequence. And we can also print that out. So let's say this is the value and this is the ordinal value. Let's rerun the program. And as you can see, for the first one, we see the value. And for the second one, ordinal, we see the integer number one. That is the index of admin in this enum. So it starts with zero. The ordinal value of owner will be zero, one for admin and two for guest. This thing we need to remember because we'll see how the enum types will get reflected in the database tables. So let me remove this and uncomment everything. We'll now uncomment it, okay? And we need to set the user type. So let's say for this particular user, this is going to be an admin, all right? So what we did in the existing user entity, we simply added a new property, a new attribute of type user type and user type is an enum, 
which has three possible values owner admin and guest then in the main class where we are creating the user entity setting all the required attributes properties we are also setting the user type from the enum to be admin let's run the program and see how it impacts the underlying table So we see an insert query that means the record was successfully inserted and we also see the new column user underscore type which is expected. Let's go to the database and select the record from the user table. So we see the new column user type but we see an integer value 1. Why is it so? If we go back to the main class here we have set the value user type dot admin but in the table we see the index value 1. The reason is by default as we covered each enum type has two values I mean two properties one is the string property which is basically the name of that type and the second one is ordinal value it's index in the enum. So when we work with JPA entities by default it stores the index of that value and as we saw earlier in the demo the index for admin was 1 that's why we see the value 1 in the table. But what would happen if we read the same record from the database will we see the value 1 or the corresponding value from the enum let's check that as well so after saving the record we'll place a separator and here what we can do probably is user repository dot find by id long dot value of 1 because that is the primary key of this record and it returns an optional so we will say if present simply print the record so what we want to check is when we read the record from the database will we see the value 1 the ordinal value or the actual user type admin in this case that's what we want to verify So here we see the insert query because we are also inserting the data and notice where we are printing the user record. So let's see what is the value of user type here. So we see the user type as admin. That means even though we have the value 1, the integer value in the table, when we fetch the record, Hibernate will do that translation for the enum because this is an enum. So Hibernate will do the translation. But what if we want to store the actual string type, actual string value? Because if we go back to the table, it's very difficult to remember what one represents. Is it an owner? Is it admin or is it guest? So maybe sometimes in some scenarios it is useful to store the actual string value of the enum type. So how do we do that? We'll go back to the user entity and there is an annotation that can do this job. And that annotation is enumerated. And notice this is coming from Jakarta which means this is a JPA annotation. And if we check the possible values, it has two possible values enum type dot ordinal, which is also the default value, which is happening right now. But we can override the default behavior by using this attribute, which is enum type dot string. What that means is now when we store the entity, it will store the corresponding string value, not the ordinal value. All right. So let's rerun the program. That's the only thing it requires in order to store the string value. So the execution is complete we won't see any difference in the logs but if we check the table this time for the column user underscore type we see the corresponding string value not the index value all right so in such scenarios we can use the enumerated annotation to work with enums see you in the next video thanks for watching